Hi, Jay London. Rough idea of the Fuma Ninja for DLC 3. Just for bosses, I am using Utsemi, Chaos Bringer, Lunatic, Invisible Barrage, Monk's Focus, and then I'm just spamming a oh, an elemental ninjutsu to take out the boss. But just kind of slowing down a little bit. This is the Utsemi again, so I can survive three hits. Uh, I switch to the job that has the longer Lightbringer duration. Get up all my buffs, go in there, and um, maybe for like one of the boss rounds, I can use Garo and use Magatsukaze to just sort of break a boss pretty quickly. We'll look at those stats and stuff afterwards. Uh, where, say, this next boss, I might go and just use a ninjutsu and take out the boss that way. And notice I'm switching over to my monk to uh, do the soul burst and also use my chaos bringer. That's because on my monk, I have uh, some things we're gonna go over. Uh, I have my light bringer duration stacked, I have my soul burst MP recovery stacked. I have increased MP limit boost rate stacked, and I have the Leviathan that gives me more max MP when I soul burst uh, a boss. And then, uh, so I'm just kind of doing the, the motions again. Uh, I did get hit once by that Gigas. I accidentally used Kanashibari instead of Utsemi, so that was a mistake. I lost some valuable scrolls there. Uh, but trying the soul burst on the monk and then I'm gonna immediately switch to the ninja in this case I'm gonna just try to finish him off with elemental ninjutsu um, and now he's done uh, This was my attempt to try to flash through the gear, but let's kind of fast forward a little bit to the actual battle settings where uh, I am using Fuma Ninja and I am using Black Mage for the intellect and Assassin for the agility as well as the final moments, the 400% for the extra break damage. I use Ronin 400% for Katana combo abilities just in case. Dragoon 400% for the attack speed during Chaos Bringer or Lightbringer. Uh, I have Tyrant 400% so I can critical hit from any direction as long as they have a status ailment like the water or the wind. Uh, across my gear, I have relics, like blue artifacts. Uh, all the percentages are about 100% or higher, and I do have intellect, agility, and some type of break damage dealt stacked up across my gear. Uh, combo abilities, I have Garo on the first slot, so I can go immediately into Senshin Stance and then use Magatsukaze uh, just to take down the enemy. Because I have so much agility, I am taking advantage of Barrage and Invisible, so I get more hits. Critical hits are, uh, do more break damage. I do have Lunatic for the attack speed, and I use Chaos Bringer as a high risk, high reward way to take out the enemy. On the Monk, I am setting up my Monk to support my Chaos Bringer lifestyle, so I have Light Bringer duration and Soul Burst MP recovery. There's a lot of stuff I didn't use in this video. I do have the Leviathan Blessing to get more max MP on Soul Burst. And I didn't use the Gambler on this video, but I did use the Breaker 120%, so more Soul Burst MP recovery. The Void Knight 120%, so increased MP limit boost rate even higher. And I didn't use the Summoner 50% or 120% in this video, even though uh, that would have helped. Now, my Master Points on the Ninja, I have the Intellect, uh, the Spirit to help accumulate the status effects quicker, the Agility for more break damage when I crit. I didn't invest heavily on the Ninja Job Affinity, but I do have Critical Break Damage Dealt, as well as Afflicted Enemy Break Damage Dealt, because they're going to be Afflicted. Leftover during Lightbringer Damage Dealt, because Damage Dealt equals Break Damage Dealt. And then I also have the Status Ailment Accumulation, so that they get the Status Ailment quicker. And on the Monk, I have uh, luck because I was going to use Gambler 120% originally. I have the Lightbringer duration, so my Chaos Bringer lasts longer. I have the Soul Burst MP recovery and the increased MP limit boost rate, so that when I do Soul Burst, I get more max MP back to help out the next Chaos Bringer. And then buff duration just to get a few more seconds. But uh, anywho, I hope that helps. Oh, I'm sorry, and I am using Fuma Ninja for one or two bosses, but Shadow Master has more sustainability 
during enemy waves and boss rushes. But yeah, uh, I hope that helps some. <laughs>